soon your CD collection will be obsolete. Obsolete in a world where every song ever recorded is available to you on tap rather than on tape or disc or anything else you can hold in your hand or indeed lose down the settee. Tomorrow is a place where you'll download your favourite music from the internet. It'll never go scratchy when you use it as a mug coaster and it'll never skip when you go over a speed bump. Tomorrow is a place we're at already, as Inside Tracks reports. The boom years in the record industry have always benefited from the existence of two formats to sell music on. First vinyl and cassette, then cassette and CD. But now with CD sales flat and cassette sales declining, top of the list of new ways to make punters part with their pounds is the World Wide Web. Well, from the music industry's point of view, the internet is a fantastic opportunity because it's yet another form of distribution. From the consumer's point of view, anything that helps you to get more information on the artists you really like, helps you to find out about new releases more quickly, or maybe get hold of esoteric new releases or back catalogue releases that you couldn't find in your local record shop, is great. And that applies as much to people in London as it does to people living outside it. But it's a real benefit to people living in rural areas who don't have a really good big record shop with a great stock anymore. You really could use the internet just like you'd use mail order at the moment. It'll just be quicker and a whole lot easier. The Virgin site's full of um, information and, st and text, pictures, movies and more, most importantly for music is uh, downloadable sound bites. We draw a lot of traffic through our site because we've got the Spice Girls on Channel 3 and a lot of people you know want to check out the Spice Girls understandably you know they're really cool. Um, but we are the most popular music site in Europe at the moment, as far as um, hits, visits and requests go. Well, the basis of the Island website, we started from the point of view of, of creating a record shop. You can browse through the entire Island catalogue. There's a listening booth. You can go in and you can listen to tracks. We, we have tracks, for instance, before the U2 album went up, we put some of the U2 tracks on, on, the, on the website. The advanced nature of the technology is also the main stumbling block for the record industry. The ease with which music can be copied and distributed makes it hard to realise a profit from the internet. MP3 is a, a means of compression whereby uh, a vast amount of data, you know, whether it be audio data or, or whatever digital content, can be uh, compressed and transferred easily uh, and quickly across the internet. There's a huge booming uh, illegal business in putting stuff up there, or, you know, whether it be by a Madonna, by garbage, whatever, tracks that um, sometimes before they're even, they've even been uh, properly released. So before you know, I can go into a shop and buy it, I can uh, look around on the internet, download a file uh, in the MPEG-3 uh, format, um, or you know, using MPEG-3 technology, um, and I can play it. Uh, this is something which, over which the industry has no control because they're not putting it up there. And, the artist, the record company, the music publisher are not receiving a single penny, dollar, cent, whatever in royalties. The main problem facing the music industry at the moment vis-a-vis -vis the internet is that copyright legislation hasn't been extended to cover digital transmission. And this is because when that legislation was initially implemented, nobody imagined that we'd be using the internet in the way that we are now. Another sticking point for the music industry is that direct distribution will cut out the middleman, potentially putting large parts of the record business out of business altogether. IUMU was one of the first um, big websites that was set up in the States and what IUMU does is it helps new bands to distribute their material early. It charges them a couple of hundred dollars and then posts their music up on the site so anyone who's interested in new music would access the IUMU site and could download releases from new artists, many of whom haven't signed to labels, haven't actually recorded anything in the past straight away. So that's really been quite successful and popular in the States. Offering a similar service is British company Cerberus. We started off a service called the Cerberus Digital Jukebox, which is a trial audio on demand system where people could go onto our internet servers and buy music, whole songs and download them. And that trial was successful and we started distributing music online. Record labels are still unsure whether to distribute on the superhighway, but the services offered by companies such as Cerberus have led to forecasts of a revolution in the music industry. It's claimed this new technology will change the way in which music media, including recording, publishing and broadcasting, are distributed. So is this the beginning of the end for the CD and the dawn of a brave new world where all our top tunes come straight from a terminal? Online distribution of music is a parallel industry at the moment, and it will run parallel. 
There'll be people who go to an hour price or go to a HMV and buy their music. And there'll be people who live a lifestyle where they don't get the opportunity to go shopping for CDs. And so for them, they will go on to online distribution, whether it's via the net or cable TV, because it's convenient. There has been a lot of talk about the fact that um, internet sites with music on them um, will re replace the need for, uh, for record companies. But I'm not too sure how that's going to catch on, because I think people want to go out and they want to buy something and they want to be able to hold a CD in their hand and they want to be able to stick them on the shelf, you know, and say, look at my wonderful CD collection or whatever, you know. And I'm not sure um, people are going to be too into having like, just a list on, on your computer screen of like, your record collection because it's just all lost in your machine. And what happens when the millennium comes? <laughs> and all the computers go a bit funny.